Welcome to the Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner. We're going to be tying damsel nymphs today. I picked out a lion's mane damsel, which is an easy to tie fly, yet very effective. The materials list we need is a Tiemco 5212, size 10 to 12, some 6 aught olive brown thread, olive marabou, uh, red or copper wire, plastic craft beads, and olive marabou again. Let's get started by tying the thread on the hook. I'm going to wind it right up toward the uh, eye of the hook. Then I'm going to come back and build a little platform where I'm going to seat the eyes or set the eyes. So I've built uh, kind of a little bump here. And I'm going to take plastic craft bead eyes. They're, uh, I bought them at a, at a craft store. And came in a great big package. I've got enough to last me for a lifetime. I'll clip off two of them. And I'm going to place them on the hook right behind this little bump. I wind the thread in uh, cross wraps so these eyes set on top of the hook crossways. And I'm figure eighting them uh, with three or four or five wraps on each side and then I'll move to the next side and so on and so forth. Next step I'm going to take some olive marabou and I like the long wispy marabou for this particular pattern. For the tail uh, a damsel is a, a wiggly little insect in the water and so I like to take a wispy damsel that'll show lots of movement uh, as I'm working the fly on a, on a retrieve. I've clipped off a, a clump and I'll measure out the tail length. And I'll tie this on right behind the plastic eyes and wind it all the way back to the tail set. See a nice long wispy tail. Next, I'm going to take my red wire, and I like red. It just adds life to the fly. Uh, it's a red copper wire. I'm going to tie this in back to the tail set. Ultimately, this will be used to rib the marabou that I'm going to tie in the abdomen and add a little strength to the uh, marabou that I'm winding on because it breaks pretty easily in trout teeth. So I've gone back to my marabou feather and I've chosen a clump about the same as the clump I uh, tied on for the tail. And I'll collect the tips together and I'm going to tie this in at the tail set position with the tips of the marabou. And I'm going to bring the thread back up to the, the eyes and immediately start winding this marabou forward in consecutive wraps. And then I'll tie it off right at the uh, back of the, the eyes and, and leave the material to rest for a moment. And then I'm going to follow through and rib it. You can either cross rib it or follow the, the material. Uh, it's your choice. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. And I'll bring that up to the, uh, 
to the eyes and tie that material off and clip the excess. That just gives this fly a lot of durability. Otherwise, uh, the uh, marabou will break pretty quickly in trout teeth and you really can't run a, a berm of glue underneath the marabou because it'll mat down so you, you really need to rib it with something. So from here I'll collect the remaining marabou together. Got one caught up in my thread, let's get cleared. And I'm going to stroke that material down and then continue winding in a figure eight wrap around the eyes. This is where the fly's name comes from, lion's mane. And you can see the little mane from the fibers of the marabou emerging as I wind it around the eye itself. And then I'm going to follow that around with my thread and tie off the remainder with just a few wraps and then we'll clip off the excess right at the head. So you can see the uh, the lion's mane that has a, appeared on this fly all of a sudden. We'll clean up the head just a little bit and then I'm going to wind over the the butts and finally drop into a whip finish to to finish the head on this fly. I don't use a whip finish tool, I just use a, a one-handed whip finish. It's pretty quick and easy once you learn how to do it. And I'll use my scissors to pull the thread up to the fly, give it a little tug tight, and then I'll clip off the thread with my scissors. like to take just a very slight amount of glue over the uh, the thread just to make sure it doesn't unravel. You can't use a lot of glue here because it'll mat down the marabou so be pretty careful. But from here I'm gonna kinda perform a little bit of a novel step and this is my own uh, touch in this pattern. I'm going to take and wind the tail uh, to create a yarn with it. And then I'll take a UV resin and I'm going to put just one very small drop of resin around a point about halfway back on this tail. This will collect these fibers together and you'll see the result here in a minute. Let me cure the the resin with my UV light. Cure it on all sides. It just takes a few seconds to cure this resin. And from there I'll let it go, let go. And I've created a little pivot point in the tail that helps this fly wiggle as it swims. Uh, during a, a retrieve uh, on the like string and damsel, damsel hatch. So spin this around in the vise. You can kind of see the novelty of this fly. The lion's head or lion's mane very clearly uh, shows up on the pattern. And it's a very slim profile uh, through the abdomen and through the tail. Uh, real good pattern. I enjoy fishing this one during our uh, damsel hatches in our central Oregon lakes. Uh, you'll see um, mid-afternoon as, as damsels start hatching some real slashy rises as the trout come up and, and take these with 
real reckless abandon. So that's the lion's main damsel, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's the Sun River Anglers fly tying corner for this month.